Welcome to Easy to Love Yoga with Shanna. Today we're doing a chair yoga practice and we're just using the mat to support the chair and the chair itself. No yoga strap is required. So let's get started. Let's come seated forward in our chair so our glutes are on the chair, hamstrings off the chair, allowing a 90 degree bend at the knees and feet flat on the floor. Resting your palms on your lap, closing your eyes and taking a moment to notice your breath. Notice if you're breathing deeply. Take a moment now to scan your body, starting at the crown of your head, working all the way down to your toes. Noticing any areas you need to be mindful of as we move through this practice together. It could be an old or new injury that's bothering you today. Just remember to keep yourself safe. If something does not feel right or feels uncomfortable, remember you do not need to do that pose. Please wait for us to move on to another pose. Moving on to four square breathing, starting with an inhale through the nose of four, three, two, one. Retain your breath, four, three, two, one. Exhale through the nose, four, three, two, one. Retain the emptiness, four, three, two, one. Inhale, retain. Exhale, retain, inhale, notice your posture, retain, exhale, retain, inhale, retain, exhale, Retain. Returning to your regular breath and just notice if you're breathing deeply. Gently open your eyes. Let's begin rolling the shoulders to the back of the room. Nice big rolls, releasing any tension you're holding in the shoulders. One more roll to the back and let's change directions, rolling the shoulders to the front of the room. Beautiful. Now bring your arms into a T. Start with a nice small circle. Make those circles a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Taking your time with this movement. Making those nice big circles. And slowly shrinking them down once again. Smaller circles. And back to our starting position now in the opposite direction, starting with a small circle, widening the circle. Nice big wide circles. And once again, narrowing those circles, making them smaller. Beautiful, drawing everything in. Back to our starting position, let's lower the hands. Roll the shoulders out once to the back, once to the front. Now we're going to take one hand and bring it up to the sky. So the other hand just drops beside our chair. We're going to change sides, bringing the opposite hand up. And we're just going to do this in a nice fluid movement. As soon as your hand reaches the sky, it travels back down and the opposite hand comes to the ceiling. Looking up at the hand above you each time. Nice fluid movement. Now let's take it a little deeper each time we bring that hand up, coming into a little bit more of a side bend each time. Nice fluid movement here. As soon as your hand reaches the furthest point in that bend, start traveling back. Move to the other side. We do one more set. And coming back to our seated position. Beautiful. Now we're just going to bring our arms into a nice cactus pose here. We're going to draw the elbows and the wrists together, front of the body, squeezing them together, holding here. Coming back to our neutral position, and now engaging the shoulder blades by drawing those elbows slightly behind the body, feeling the chest lift and open. Coming back into neutral, 
Once again, palms of the hands, the wrists and the elbows come together in front of the body, squeezing together. Coming back to neutral and bringing everything behind, squeezing the shoulder blades, feel it in the chest, lift and open. And coming back to neutral, let's lower the arms, rolling twice to the back and twice to the front just to release any tension. Give it a little shake. Beautiful. Now we're just going to bring our arms once again into a T. We're going to twist gently to one side, stopping at that sensation of the stretch and just holding your pose here for six rounds of breath. Sitting nice and tall in the chair. One more round of breath here. Returning to center. And now rotate slowly in the opposite direction, stopping at that sensation of the twist. Six rounds of breath. One more round of breath here, coming back to center. And now rotating from one side back to center. Then to the other side, just pausing at each point, back to center, pause, and twist the other way, pause, back to center, pause, twist the other way, pause, to center, twist, to center, twist, one more set, to center, twist, to center, and twist. Back to center, lowering the hands. Let's roll the shoulders to the back, rolling to the front. Beautiful. Now, just sit back about halfway into your chair. Make sure you have that 90 degree bend at the knees, feet flat on the floor. Inhaling into a cow breath, looking up at the ceiling. Exhaling into cat, arching the back towards the back of the chair, bringing the arms behind. Inhale to cow, looking up, arms up. Exhale to cat, arch and lower the arms. Inhale to cow, exhale to cat, inhale to cow, exhale to cat, and hold here those arms behind. Now I'd like you to pulse the hands, palms and hands are facing each other, pulsing inward. Two more pulses. And slowly coming back up into a seated position. Beautiful. Now we're just going to take one hand, bring it up to the sky. Take it over and just allow your arm to rest on your knee here. And changing sides, resting that arm on the knee, bringing the opposite arm up and over. And coming back to center. This time we're going to take our feet and have our toes pointed on a diagonal outside towards the corners of your mat. You're going to lower one elbow down to the knee. Just have your other hand touch the opposite knee and bring that arm up and over. Looking up through the fingers at the ceiling. Breathing deeply here. One more breath, and coming back into a seated position, and once again, elbow comes down to the knee, hand touches the opposite leg, and bring the opposite arm up and over, looking through the fingers, holding here. One more breath. And coming back to center. And now keeping the feet as they are, taking the hands and gliding down the legs all the way down to the ankles. Notice that you're allowing the back to start to soften and round here. So focusing on the back, allowing the back to soften, lower back, mid back, upper back, shoulders, soften and round here. Two more rounds of breath. 
Now keeping your one hand on your foot, take the other hand and rotate it up to the sky. And as soon as you reach that rotation, start moving back down, bringing your hand to the foot and allowing the opposite arm to come up to the sky and then rotate it back down. So doing this nice twist with fluidity, flowing nicely from one side to the next, changing again. Change, change, two more sets, change, change, last set, last one, and returning the hands to the ankles, holding here. Slowly allow the hands to glide off the legs, coming back slowly into a seated position. Beautiful. Now bring your feet back nice and flat footed, 90 degree bend. We're going to hold on to the seat. We're going to take one foot off the ground and we're just going to roll the ankle in one direction. You decide which foot you like to start with, rolling the ankle and changing direction now for that roll the opposite way. Now we're going to plant that heel down and then bring the toe down next to the chair. Heel out front, toe close to the chair. And we're just going to move in this fashion. Heel toe, heel toe. Sitting nice and tall, remember to keep breathing. Gauging the quads a little bit here. Two more. and bring that foot flat. Now lifting the other foot, rotating the ankle in one direction. And rotating the opposite way. And now place that foot down. Heel comes out, toe comes in. Heel out, toe in. Alternating, heel toe. Two more. Beautiful. Flat footed now. Nice. So our next move, we're going to roll the shoulders one more time. Release any stress or tension. Rolling forward. We're going to bring our hands together in prayer. We're going to lower those fingers forward. Bring the backs of our hands together and flip the fingers towards the body and coming back into prayer. Again, fingers forward. Back to hands together, fingers flip towards the body, back into prayer. And we'll just do this a few more times quickly. Nice fluid movement here. One last time, stopping in prayer. And now we're going to change direction. So bring the fingers slightly towards you, back to hands together, and flip the fingers away, back into prayer. Fingers towards you. Backs of hands together, flip away, back into prayer, and just do this with fluidity. Just giving the wrist a little extra movement today. Two more. Stopping in prayer. And let's just shake it out. Beautiful. Now, really stretch those fingers wide apart, star fingers. So feeling all of the muscles in the fingers and the palm of the hand engage here. Really stretching them apart, engaging all the muscles. Now relax those fingers. Pretend you're grabbing onto a jump rope and just circle the wrists as if you were jumping jump rope in the forward movement. Circle the wrists. Beautiful. Two more circles. And back to star fingers, engaging all the muscles in the fingers, spreading the fingers nice and wide. Relaxing the fingers, grabbing that jump rope, and now we're going to jump backwards. So rotating in the opposite direction. Two more rotations. Beautiful. Let's shake it out. Jazz hands. Beautiful. Now we're just going to cross one arm in front of the other, in front of the body, and changing sides. 
So one hand is on top, and the next time the opposite arm is on top. So just pay attention. Notice any sensations you feel in the shoulders as we make this movement. One more time. And let's drop the hands down by our side. Bringing the arms up into a T, palms facing forward. We're going to draw the hands together in front. Come back to our center position and let's bring those arms behind. Back to center and draw together in front. Back to center and that movement is now behind the body. Now let's do it with fluidity. Bringing the hands together, taking them back to wherever your range of motion is comfortably. Bringing them forward and taking them back. Bring it forward, take it back forward, back, last time, forward, and back, dropping the arms down by our side, let's roll the shoulders out to the back, roll the shoulders now to the front, beautiful, once again into a T, this time palms are facing the back of the room, so bring those hands together, backs of hands together, back to center, and now pushing them behind, back to center, coming forward, center, behind, center, and now with fluidity, forward and back, forward and back, forward, back, forward, back, one last time, forward and back. Come back to center, drop those arms, roll the shoulders to the back, rolling the shoulders forward. Beautiful. Bringing your arms into a nice cactus pose once again, we're going to drop the hands down in front and bring them back to our starting position. Come down to center, back to start, center, start, center, Start. Beautiful. Now let's go to center and that is going to be our new starting point. And now we're going to lower and come to center. Lower, come to center. Lower, come to center. Just one more time. Lower, come to center. And let's drop those arms. Draw one arm across the body, supporting underneath the elbow, relaxing the shoulder. Just taking a deep breath here. Now taking that hand to the sky, dropping it down to the shoulder, supporting under the elbow and bringing the elbow close to the head and point it upward if you can. Feeling a nice stretch here. One more breath. And let's change sides, drawing one arm across the body, supporting under the elbow, relaxing the shoulder. Taking that hand high, dropping it to the shoulder, supporting under the elbow, elbow close to the ear, point it upward if you can. One more breath here. Beautiful and slowly relax the shoulders, two rolls to the back and two rolls to the front. Beautiful. Now we're going to draw one heel forward, resting the heel on the mat, keeping a slight bend in the knee. Both hands will travel down that leg and reach for your toes or your ankles or holding on to your calves. But feeling a nice stretch, come up the back of the leg, the hamstrings into the glutes. Remember to continue to breathe here. Two more rounds of breath. And slowly allow the fingers to travel back up the leg, back into a seated position, bringing that foot back nice and flat, 90 degree bend at the knee, and extend the opposite leg out, heel touching down, slight bend at the knee, both hands traveling down the leg, 
coming down to the toes, the ankle, or holding on to the calves. Whatever works best for you today. Remember to keep that bend in the knee, breathing deeply. Two more rounds of breath. Slowly allow the hands to travel back up the leg, all the way back up, bringing that foot back to center. Now we're going to just extend the opposite leg forward, bringing the heel up across the knee. Nice flex in the foot here to protect your bent knee, holding on to the sole of your foot and your knee. Slowly as you exhale, lower the body towards the leg, feeling a nice stretch in the hip. Taking your time here. will most likely feel a little uncomfortable if your tip, hips are very tight. Now there shouldn't be any pain here. If you feel pain, this isn't the pose for you. Please come out of that pose. Now if it's available to you, lower a little bit closer to the legs, bringing the body further down, intensifying the stretch you feel in the hip. And again, it might be uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be painful. One more round of breath here. Slowly rise up. Allow that foot to come off of the leg. Changing sides, once again, grabbing that heel, bringing that foot across the knee. Foot is flexed to protect your bent knee. You can hold on to your knee and the sole of your foot. And on an exhale, lower towards the legs. Find what works best for you today. The foot that's on the floor could be extended slightly forward to reduce the intensity of the stretch you're feeling in your hip. So take your time, adjust the legs accordingly. Remember to keep breathing throughout. Now if it's available to you, lower a little bit closer towards the legs. Tensifying the stretch. Two more rounds of breath here. Slowly rising up, allowing that foot to come down, sitting back in the center of your chair, 90 degree bend at the knees, feet flat on the ground, sitting nice and tall. I want you to inhale, bring your arms up overhead, draw the hands together, and slowly lower them down to heart center. Coming forward, resting the sides of the arms onto the lap, allowing the hands to drop towards the feet. Feeling a nice softening and rounding in the back. You can hold on to your legs if you'd like. Slowly allow the hands to glide back up the legs. Coming back into a nice seated position. Once again, bringing the hands up overhead. Bringing those hands together. Lowering them down. And this time, closing your eyes, keeping your hands at heart center. Doing one more scan of the body, starting at the crown of the head, working all the way down to the toes. Notice with it, out judgment, any changes or sensations in the body compared to the scan you did at the beginning of class. Bringing your attention to your breath. Are you still breathing deeply? Thank you so much for sharing your energy in this practice and taking this mindful time for movement for yourself. Self-care is so very important. I hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.